out a statement, said that they are all moving together forward. Where the hell are you going? You ain't going no damn way. Keyshawn J. Willemax, ESPN Radio, the ESPN app, ESPN2. You can hate me now. You can listen to KJM on your smart speaker. Just say, play ESPN Radio, and we pop right up. By the way, download the podcast. I don't have to tell you to download the podcast. You're doing it. Boy, what a fast, fast. Must be the fastest growing podcast there is. Hot like fire. Dial on. Uh, we're presented by Progressive Insurance. So, with KD and Kyrie returning to the Nets, where does that put Brooklyn in the East? We were talking in the previous segment, Jay, and I said, we have to see about chemistry. You bring up coaching. Lots of stuff has to – health. But when I look at just the weight of the talent, if there was a great scale that you could weigh every team's talent, Jay, Ben Simmons – when healthy, is a top 10 NBA player. You want to say top 15, okay. But he was trending toward MVP before the shooting stuff mm-hmm. in the playoffs. Okay, Kyrie and KD, and they're supported by Seth Curry and... and Royce and O'Neal. Royce O'Neal. I keep forgetting they acquired the way, Royce O'Neal. It was O'Neal. only a couple years ago in the bubble where TJ Warren was going off. I don't know Joe if Harris really is Joe one Harris. of the best shooters in the league. Yep, great defender. Unless it's the playoffs. Patty Mills, they've re-signed Patty Mills. Patty Mills, I mean, like, Nick what? Claxton, you have size, you have length. Dude. You can go with Ben Simmons at the five, similar to Draymond Green. I mean, they, they have a loaded squad. But let me tell you what the biggest headline was for me yesterday. Mm-hmm. The biggest ultimate headline. In an era in which in the last couple of years, we've seen Ben Simmons remove himself from the situation in Philly. We've seen James Harden remove himself from the situation in Houston, and then, again, remove himself from the situation in Brooklyn. This was a sign of something that is going to be on its way and it's going to be dropped with such a hard hammer. Joe Sire, the Brooklyn Nets, took a stand and said, no, you have signed a contract. You have four more years left on your contract. You are not going anywhere, which is the reason... From the beginning that I argued with Keyshawn Johnson, where he kept utilizing this narrative by saying, Jay, I'm telling you, when a player tells you they don't want to be there, there ain't no way in hell you're going to keep them. Now, look, I said, okay, that might typically be the case. But this situation is different because when Rudy Gobert got traded from Utah to Minnesota, when the assets that Danny Ainge got in return for Rudy Gobert that reset the market and it minimized KD moving anywhere. Now, Josiah dabbled with it. Okay, let's see what the, market, what the market offers. The market could not go above what it offered for Rudy Gobert, and that minimized the chance of it happening, and Josiah said, we're not doing it. We value this franchise. He stated it multiple times, Max. We're doing what's in the best interest of the Brooklyn Nets, and what was in the best interest of the Brooklyn Nets, Kyrie, you are motivated now because you're in a one-year deal. There's this narrative about you that people wonder and they question your commitment to playing basketball. Not me, other people. Okay, play for it this year. Hey, Kevin Durant, this roster is ready for you to win a world championship. I'm not going to trade you for pennies on the dollar. Hell no. You have four more years left in your deal. I'll tell you the best way for you to be moved on to a different team. Play this year with Kyrie and Ben Simmons and Seth Curry and Nick Claxton and Royce O'Neal and TJ Warren. TJ Warren, and go win a championship and elevate your stock. And then maybe we can revisit that. I There's so much here, Jay, to unpack. Let me just say, I agreed with you, as you recall, that this is not like a lot of recent NBA history, where if James Harden doesn't want to be there, believe me, not only can I guarantee you will trade him, I can guarantee you will trade him to the exact market that he orders you to trade him to. He's the boss. And he will tell you where to trade him, and that will happen. And that happened twice, okay? That's the, the, the recent history of NBA superstars. This was different. This was different partly because KD is too good to p- trade for pennies on the dollar. Like when Dr. Jerry Buss told Kobe, when Kobe wanted to go to the Clippers, Kobe, you're a five-carat diamond. I'm not trading you for five one-carat diamonds, right? Partly because KD is 34 years old, and has been hurt, had an Achilles, and has been hurt the last two seasons, and changes his mind so often that even if you were like, forget his age, forget the injury history recently, he's so good we should do what he says. But even if you were inclined to do that, 
The guy thinks one thing on Monday, another thing on Tuesday, another thing on Wednesday. You can't just give him the keys to the franchise and let him run the whole show because I don't think he knows what he wants long term, right? So that also makes you take a step back and say, hold on a second. Partly because KD overreached. As I mentioned, Key brought up, you want the coach and the GM gone? Come on, dude. It's, you're not giving any sense that, in fact, we can trust you with the franchise. That's a wholesale change. Mm-hmm. There are so many reasons. And then also partly because of and the stuff you identified, obviously, with the resetting of the market. Also, if you look at recent NBA history, actually the teams that are winning are not – just throwing together some superstars and getting it done. The Lakers, yes, LeBron and AD in a bubble season, but by and large, the, 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 that's the exception to the rule. The rule has been building the culture ground up and maybe adding, adding a, a piece, piece or two. Yes. Right. That is increasingly, I think it's because, Jay, your average player is more skilled and versatile now than they used to be, mm-hmm. that the difference between the superstar and another player is not quite what it used to be. And so you need depth. You need variety and depth in your on your team. So teams like the Bucks win, the the Warriors win. Superstars, yes, but also well distributed talent. The Celtics. The Celtics. And so the model may be changing in a way that takes just as the quarterback is getting more powerful in the NBA, in the NFL, the superstar may be getting a little less powerful in the NBA. No, I still think the superstar is powerful. Still powerful, but as powerful as they were three years ago? Yes. Really? Yes, but I think what we just saw in real time, Max, was the power dynamic shift from this being Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving's team to it being Joe Sy's team, mm-hmm. which has always been, right? But we, we, and, and this is something I said a month ago, and it kind of just got glossed over. I said, hey, look, when this new CBA comes up, oh, trust and believe Adam Silver, the commissioner of the NBA, has watched – Big-time player after big-time player say, ah, I don't want to be here, and force their way out. And there will be major, significant penalties for players who don't commit or fulfill their contract if they don't want to be somewhere. That's a real difference It's going to be addressed. See, guys like me who are pro-labor will support that because that's very different than you work all your life to be the best in the world at the most, literally the most competitive industry on the planet Earth, the NBA, right? So I don't think they're – I think it's pretty clear it's the most complete. Everyone on earth who could play in the NBA is playing in the NBA. That's basically true. Seven and a half billion people, 400 jobs. Come on. So you work your whole life to get to be one of those 400. Then you have no choice where you go. You get drafted. Basically, the financial incentives are for you to stay there six to seven years. So, like, at that point, don't hold the person there. Let them go and do what they want to do. That's different than saying, hold on. Once you decide to sign a contract, you got to fulfill the contract. So I, Adam Silver is going to have some support there, I think. So we want to hear from you. What are the nets in the Eastern Conference hierarchy? Now that everyone's coming back, 888-SAY-ESPN, 